you like to. He's looking at you, kid. Come on, let's share gas. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Own life. Ang susunod na programa ay rated PG. Ito ay nangangailangan ng patnubay at gabay ng magulang para sa mga batang manunood. everyone, especially our professor, Sir Panaligan, good afternoon. First, we want to introduce ourselves. My name is Rosray Swendlin or... I'm Declaro Marvin W. I am Jan Eric Dimapaltan. I'm Rika May Dimokalangan B. My name is Pormentos Lawrence Andrew C. My name is Tibino J. Philip Dolor. I'm De Los Reyes Erwin B. I'm Garcia Randel Yu. I'm Romel Samyalimos. Hi, I'm Jeric Gamo. And we are your reporter for today. By the end of this report, you will be able to determine the definition of extractor markings, determine where extractor marks found and when it produced, determine the extracture of extractor markings. Determine the importance of extractor markings. Distinguish the extractor markings between to the other markings. And determine how extractor works in the power arm. So, nandito ako ngayon para eh, discuss sa inyo kung ano yung extractor markings. Pero bago yun, uh, gusto ko munang ipaliwanan sa inyo o emphasize kung ano nga ba yung extractor o kung ano yung purpose nito. So, an extractor, an extractor is a part in a firearm that serves to remove brass cases of fired ammunition after the ammunition has been fired. When the gun's action cycles, the extractor lifts or removes the spent brass casing from the firing chamber. So, yung extractor is yung nasa loob siya ng mismong baril natin. Uh, ang, gin, uh, ang ginagawa niya usually is yung i-remove niya yung brass cases o yung cartridge. Siya yung dahilan kung bakit naghihiwalay yung cartridge at saka yung mismong bullet. So, yun yung ginagawa na, yun yung purpose niya. So, uh, pinapakita dito sa picture kung ano yung extractor. Uh, makikita natin yung extractor at saka ejector. Siguro magtataka kayo. So, ano yung pinagkaiba ng extractor at ejector? So, pag sinabi natin extractor, ang, it, ang ginagawa kasi ng extractor is it uh, removes the cartridge from the chamber. Tapos ang ginagawa naman ng ejector is the ejector uh, throws away the cartridge from the gun uh, once na naiputok na yung barrel. Kaya minsan makikita nyo na na pag umaril kayo, pumutok kayo ng barrel, uh, may tatalsik na ba siya? Yun yung ginagawa ng ejector. So, what is extract extractor mark? So, dito na tayo yung extractor mark. Ito na ngayon yung mga markings na nabubuo dahil dun sa extractor. Marks found at extracting groove of the fired cartridge cases caused by its withdrawal from the chamber. So, yun na nga. Uh, uh, the purpose kasi ng extractor is tinatanggal niya, nire-remove na yung cartridge from the chamber. So, it is one of the individual characteristic of firearms that markings cannot be determined in fired bullets and cartridge cases. So, alam naman natin na there are different kinds of individual characteristic when it comes to markings. Meron tayong uh, firing pin marks, meron tayong uh, magazine marks, meron tayong uh, breech face marks, meron din tayo nung, uh, um, okay, meron din, ito nga yung extractor mark at marami pang iba. So, medyo focus lang tayo dito ngayon sa extractor mark kasi ito yung topic natin ngayon. So, these marks are usually found in striated form. So, ano nga ba yung striated form? Uh, madidiscuss naman yan ng mga kagrupo ko mamaya pag sa, sa report nila. So, papahapiawan ko na lang. Pag sinabi kasi yung straighted form is that 
nagagawa ito mismo dun sa loob ng barel. Ito yung mga uh, mga markings na nagagawa mismo dun sa loob ng barel. Kasi meron tayong dalawang form. Straighted form at saka yung impressed. So, yung straighted form nga, tulad sinabi ko kanina, ito yung nabubuo sa loob ng barel. Ito yung mga markings na nabubuo dahil dun sa mga firing pin marks, dahil dun sa bridge, dahil dun sa extractor. Yun yung mga markings na nabubuo. So, i-discuss uh, naman yan ng mga kagrupo ko later on sa kanila mga presentation. So, narito yung mga example ng cartridge that has extractor markings. So, mapapansin nyo dun sa picture, ito na yung tinatawag natin cartridge. Makikita nyo dun sa pinakapuwitan ng ating cartridge, may mga parang uh, sira. Sira o yung mga gasgas. -gas. So, mapapansin nyo, yun yung uh, markings na iniiwan ng ating extractor. So, ma malinaw namang makikita nyo na these markings are created by, extract by the extractor itself. I am going to discuss this extractor. The extractor is a device found on the most firearm except the So, sabi dito, ang extractor ay uh, matatagpuan sa lahat ng uri ng klase ng barrel except revolver. Kasi, ang revolver, hindi siya nag eject ng cartridge case kapag ito ay pumutok. Hindi katulad ng uh, barrel na katulad ng Glock. Kapag ang Glock ay uh, pumutok, ini-eject nito yung cartridge case sa kanyang uh, ba, sa kanyang baril and extractor help pull the empty case out of the gun after it's fired so yung extractor nakakatulong din siya upang uh, uh, paalisin or patalsikin yung cartridge case dun sa baril extractor work by pulling on the edge of the cartridge rim and leave straighted mark so sabi dito yung extractor uh, nag-iiwan din siya ng uh, iba't ibang marking dun sa cartridge case. Next is extractor mark. These marks are, are mostly found at the extracting groove of the fired cartridge case. So, sabi yung mga extractor mark ay kalimitang makikita dun sa mga cartridge case na tumalsik galing sa baril. So, kalimitang mga markings na nakikita dun una Uh, ejector mark pangalawa extractor mark pangatlo uh, firing pin impression so yung firing pin impression yun yung pin na kung saan na uh, pumupukpok dun sa isang uh, bala para ito ay magkaroon ng uh, explosion at tumalsik yung bullet next is branch face mark next chamber mark and last magazine mark. So, yung magazine mark, ito yung uh, marka na nanggagaling doon sa magazine na iniiwan doon sa isang cartridge case. So, kapag pala ang isang bala ay umalis doon sa magazine, uh, nagkakaroon din ito ng magazine mark. So, they are caused by its withdrawal from the chamber. Straighted action marks are common to cartridge cases that have passed through the action of an auto-loading or repeating firearms. Straighted action marks can be produced on cartridge cases by contact with a number of different areas within the firearms. Dito po sa cart straighted action marks na hapag produce ng scratches kapag ang cartridge case ay nagmumove laterally against sa tools or dun po sa inner surface ng firearms so that it will produce a scrap or yung tinatawag nating straighted marks ang mga common straighted marks na kabilang po dito ay firing pin impression firing pin drag marks bridge face marks chamber marks extractor marks or ejector marks Firing pin impression, indentation of the primer of a center fire cartridge case or the rim of the rim fire cartridge case when stuck by the firing pin. Firing pin drag marks, striated tool marks produced when a projecting firing pin contacts a cartridge or root or shoot shell during extraction 
and ejection. Bridge pace mark. Negative impression of the bridge pace of the firearms found on the head of the cartridge case and or primer after firing. Chamber marks. Individual microscopic marks placed on the cartridge case by the chamber wall of a result of chambering expansion during firing or extraction. Extractor marks. Created tool marks produced on a cartridge or cartridge case from the operation of an extractor. Usually found on or just ahead of the rim. And lastly, ejection mark. Striated marks produced by hard contact between the ejection port of the firearms and a rapidly moving ejected cartridge case. Instructor's marks. Another action mark usually found in striated forms are those created by the instructors of most auto-loading or repeating firearms. A instructor is a small part sometimes resembling a hook that is used to remove a cartridge or a cartridge case from a chamber of a firearm. The image below showed the instructors of 9mm Glock pistol hook into a instructor's groove of a cartridge. As a slide of the pistol moved to a rear, the instructors pulled the cartridge case along with it until it ejected from the pistol. Okay. Assuming that is a pistol. Okay. And this is the instructors. Instructors. And assuming that is a bullet. Bullet. When a bullet, yung nasa sa loob na siya ng barrel, syempre na doon na si instructors. Si instructors na yung nakakapit. Sa bullet. Doon sa pinakayo. Na dulo nung sa bullet. Doon yung mahuhuk si instructors. Siya yung maghuhuk doon sa yu. Doon sa bala. When pag ipinutok mo, at kinalabit mo, ah, pag ipinutok mo si si barrel, syempre, lalabas na yung pinakabala ng barrel. Ngayon, may iiwan. May iiwan si Basio kasi si instructor, yun ang kakapit sa kanya. Then, yung, yung exit nung bala na o Basio ay dun sa inject, injection or injected na tinatawag sa barrel yung exit doon pero nakakapit nakakapit si si instructors dahil siya yung magmamarka doon sa gilid ng barrel kaya nagkakaroon ng marka sa gilid ng bullet and yun yung tinatawag na instructors mark and also may another statement about the instructors the instructors may or not leave an undefiable mark on the cartridge case. This is true. If the cartridge is fired or simply hand chamber and instructed without firing, instructor marks may look like those seen in the comparison image below. Kahit daw hindi lumabas si Bala o si Basio doon sa barrel at kumbaga ikinasamulang kinasa mo lang si, ba, si Barrel. Assuming that yung basyo ng bala or yung pinakabala ng Barrel, magkakaroon pa rin siya ng gasgas sa gilid. Doon sa pinaka, yung, pinaka, remark, yung pinaghuho ka ng, ng instructors. Nagkakaroon siya ng gasgas. Pero hindi gaya ng karir ng sa pagnalabas yung bala. Kasi magiiwan lang siya ng gasgas kasi hindi naman siya na ano hindi siya na persa sa paglabas. Ayun, kinasa lang. Kaya lumabas man o uh, hindi man lumabas, magiiwan pa rin si instructor's mark ng isang marka doon sa bullet. That is the instructor's mark na tinatawag. Casing instruction and injection marks. Use cartridge casing are first removed from the chamber by the extractor mechanism. The casing are then dragged across the edge of the injection port as they are injected from the weapon. Those, those extractor as and injector smarts can be matched. Nasabi sa una ay first removed from the chamber by extractor mechanism.
And daw po yung nire-remove gamit ang structural mechanism. Tapos ang next po ay the casing or the drug across the edge of injection port as they are injected from the weapon. And daw po yung basyo na tumatalsik sa barrel. Tapos those structural and injector marks can be matched. And daw po yung pwedeng pagkumparahin ang ah, maaaring pagkumparahin o ipagmatch kung parehas yung nagiging marks nila yung mga gas gas sa basyo yun lang po a view through the ejection port of a pistol to the left is the pistol slide and breech face the breech face is the front part of the breech block that makes the contact with the cartridge in a firearm the breech block in the gun is a what holds around in the cha chamber and absorbs the recoil of the cartridge when the round is fired, preventing the cartridge case from moving. In the center of the breech face is the firing pin aperture. The firing pin strikes the primer, causing it, causing it to explode. The spark from the primer ignites the gunpowder. Guns Gas converted from the burning powder rapidly expands in the cartridge. The expanding gas forces the bullet out of the cartridge and down the barrel with a great speed. The most important constituent in the thumbprint of the weapon is the firing pin impression. The cartridge is fired only if the firing pin strikes with a certain amount of force. Therefore, it has not it has to come into contact with the cartridge without fail and leave its impressions on its percussion cap. And to the left of the bridge face is the extractor. The extractor removes the cartridge case from the chamber, essentially pulling the case of the rear. At some point in the rear wire travel, the case typical, typically makes the contact with the ejector, which kicks the expanded case of the firearms making room for an unfired cartridge to be loaded. And to the lower right of the bridge face is the ejector. Ejector pins are the bouncers of the injection molding world. They apply a force to eject apart from the mold and in some cases can leave marks. Once the mold is open, the pins extend the, the mold cavity, push the fork out and then retract allowing the mold to close and be refilled. Both magazine lips can seen below and forward of the slide. Magazine lips. Single feed is found on all single column and some, some double column magazines. It is mostly found on the pistol magazines. The magazine slips are only wide enough to fit one cartridge through. Double feeds donate a uh, type of magazine whose feed lips are wider, to the point where almost two cartridge can fit through. Similarly, cartridges may be loaded into and extracted from a firearm chamber without firing. A tool that helps this process is called an extractor, which is found on the bolt or slide of the firearm. The tool resembles a claw which grabs the case head at the base of the cartridge and may produce scrape marks across the edge of the head. These marks may be produced when the cartridge is worked manually through the action or part in the firearm. As described above, these marks may be a means to identify cartridge cases between scenes and other ammunition sources without a firearm being recovered. Looking down the pistol's ejection port, a cartridge case is being pulled from the chamber of the barrel by the means of a hook in the slide called an extractor. An extractor is a claw which clamps onto the base of a round allowing it to be pulled rearwards along with a vault or slide. However, to get the casing or unfired round out of the chamber, you need to move it sideways too. This is where the ejector comes in. It will usually be one of two things. 
a piston on the bolt piece or a fix protrusion. Either way, it adds a sideways component to the rearward movement of the case and in doing so, will likely leave a mark on the soft metal casing. Also, this is helpful as for starters the positioning and size of the extractor versus ejector that will be different for different weapons or firearms. Example, an AR-15 might have the extractor in a different place to a Mini-14. So even though both far the same cartridge, it can be a clue to identify which weapon fired the round. Based on this picture, the ejector pound to the cylinder at the top of the picture on a spring and push flash to the bolt piece by the base of the round, while extractor pound at the bottom of the picture spring loaded sideways to clamp around the base of the round. And I can say that extractor is the friend of ejector. Next is the importance of extractor markings. Extractor marks is important in cases where no suspect gun is found or in case the suspect denies ownership of the suspect gun. The extractor pulls the spent shells out of the chamber. Then the ejector is spring loaded and usually housed inside the bolt. It is positioned so that it ejects the brush out through the ejection spot. Okay, may isinano po ulit itong mga image upang mas may padawanag at mas makita po natin kung paano magpansyon ang dalawang ito. Okay, sa, sa number one po nating sample ay makikita po natin na naka-standby ang ating extractor sa gilid ng bullet na once na pumutok na o magpunction na ang ating firing pin dito naman po hihilahin ng extractor ang ating cartridge case o ang ating basyo papunta kay ejector na pag na-deliver naman po niya yung basyo natin kay ejector si ejector naman po yung magpapunction upang ilabas ang ating basyo o ang ating cartridge case sa baril natin Makita nyo po dito sa number 4 na kung paano kung paano nagfunction yung yung ating ejector upang ilabas yung ating basyo. Dahil once na hindi po na ilabas yung basyo, uh, ma-disable ang ating baril. Hindi natin magagamit 'yon sa oras na 'yon. Uh, dito po sa sa pangalawang image, makikita nyo po malapitan kung paano dinelever ni extractor ang ating basyo kay ejector yun po ang gawin naman po dyan ng ejector magpapangsun siya upang patalisikin yung ating basyo sa labas ng ating barrel and then the extractor and ejector both leave, leave marks on the casing okay uh, dito po yung extractor natin sa ejector ay pares po silang nag iiwan na marka sa ating bullet ipapalawan ko po yun mamaya those, those marks may be small but can be seen under magnification ang mga marka pong iniiwan ng, ng dalawang ito ay hindi basta makikita ng malapitan ng ating mga mata And kaya may ginagamit pong mga machine ang ating mga eksperto diyan and then those marks will look the same on the casing that come from the same gun. Okay. Andito po yung kinuha kong sample upang mas makita nyo kung ano ang pag pinagkaiba ng ejector sa extractor. Yung marka nila na naiiwan sa ating cartridge case. Ano? Nakita nyo po itong ejector na ang marka po niya ay nasa mismong likod lang ng basyo. Sa mismong puwita ng basyo. Doon lang siya makikita dahil at doon lang siya pwedeng magmarka dahil yun lang ang kaya ng tamaan pag nagpapansyon siya upang ang basin natin ay ilabas ng baril 
Okay. Yung makikita nyo po dito, extractor marks natin ay meron sa puitan at meron din sa gilid. Dahil itong dalawa pong ito ay connected sa isa't isa ano. Once na magkaroon siya ng gasgas o na markas sa gilid, meron din po siya sa puitan dahil may possible na mapingas yung ano, yung gilid ng ano ng ating basyo. Ano, uh, dito sa baba nating sample, dito niyo mas makikita at na papaghambing ang dalawa. Okay. Kita niyo po tong ejector sa baba. I ang marka lang niya ay sa gilid sa ah, hindi sa likod ng basyo. Samantalang itong si extractor marks naman natin i sa, sa likod at sa gilid. And thank you. Okay, uh, extractor firearm. So first, uh, bago tayo mag-proceed sa ating uh, extractor firearm, so i-define muna natin what is firearm. Ano? So sabi dito, the, ter the term firearm is defined as a lethal barreled weapon of any description from which any shot bullet or other missile can be discharged. Ano? So sabi dito, ang firearm daw, uh, yan yung modern na uh, sandata ng mga Armed Forces of the Philippines or the PNP. So ayan yung mga barrel and also the missiles. Ano? So, extractor firearm. Ano? So, sabi dito, in breaching loading firearms, an extractor is an actions component that serves to remove spent casing of previously fired cartridge from the chamber in order to vacate the chamber for loading a fresh round of ammunition. <laughs> ano? So, uh, as you can see, kung makikita, kung makikita, nyo, uh, kung makikita ninyo dito, so, ang ex uh, extractor natin, siya yung humihila doon sa ating use bullet or sa mga tawag dito sa ating basyo ano kung uh, pagtapos pumutok ng ating barrel so ang ating uh, basyo is pupunta dito sa ating chamber ano so nakabara yung basyo and then the extractor para magkaroon ng ng panibagong load ng bullet so ang kanyang trabaho is hihilahin niya yung basyo nakabara sa chamber and then the ejector naman siya yung magpo-push doon sa uh, basyo na nakabara and then magpo-produce siya ng panibagong bala So in repeating firearms with moving bolts, the extractor is open one or a set of hook like flanges on the bolt head that grab onto the casing ring. So when the bolt moves, reawards the casing is pulled out of the chamber, it is typically aided by a protruding ejector in the receiver or the bolt which provide an opposite counter push that couples with the extractor full to expel the casing entirely out of the gun. So yan ano. So uh, talagang napakahalaga ng rules ng ating extractor. Ano? So sabi nga dito sa ating repeating firearm, so ito yung mga baril na uh, sunod-sunod ang potok. Ano? So napakalaki ng rules doon ng extractor. So was na uh, pumutok yung ating gun, so yung extractor at ang trabaho niya is uh, hugutin or linisin yung ating chamber na maalis doon yung ating use bullet. Ano, so para naman magkaroon ulit ng panibagong load ng pagputok in modern duffer block break action example uh, double barrel shotguns and revolver firearms the extractor is protrusible piece of the barrel cylinder side with planches that pushes three awards on the casing stream and slides it out of the chambers some such extractors can push hard and far enough that is completely clears the case out of the gun therefore also performing the functions of an ejector ano so yan um as you can see makikita makikita ninyo dito sa ating picture so ito itong uh, nakosli diyan sa may ating uh, double barrel shotgun so ayan yung nagsisilbing lock and also uh, ayan yung nagsisilbing uh, pagka uh, binali natin yan and then uh, ipo-push na lang natin yung gun and then yung uh, kanilang uh, use bullet or yung ating uh, basyo kusa siyang uh, mahuhulog or maaalis. So, yun na ang nagsisilbing ejector and also the extractor. Uh, extractor are hallmark pictures of repeating firearms. Uh, they can be found on a bolt action, lever action, and pump action firearms. Not all single shot firearms have extractors. Thought, many do some require that user to manually remove spent cartridge from the gun. So, yan ano. So, ang ating extractor, so talaga na pang uh, uh, hallmark na yan or napipictured na sa lahat ng baril. Ano? So, Uh, mas lalo na ngayon, tayo ay modern na. So, talagang ang extractor ay kailangan sa lahat ng baril. Ano? So, para uh, uh, mabilis na nakakapag papotok ang ating mga uh, uh, firearms. Ano? Or uh, mabilis lumabas yung ating bala. Ano? Kasi siya yung nagsisilbing humihila. 
ng ating mga use bullet. And then, uh, sabi pa dito, some early blowback pistol uh, use ammunition with no ring or extractor groove on the cartridge cases. Example, uh, 5mm and Bergman and such pistols therefore lack extractor modern pistols typically have flip up barrel to permit easily uh, easy loading without necessarily cycling a slide against the strong recoil spring so yan ano so nung ating palang uh, mga mga sinaunang barrel so hindi na pala ginagamitan yun ng extractor ano kung makikita uh, kung mapapansin daw ninyo sa ating 5M 5mm Bergman so yung kanilang uh, uh, bullet o yung sa my cartridge is wala ng ring or wala ng wala ng uh, kumbaga ay walang uh, malalim na guhit sa gilid ano so yung malalim na guhit na gilid na yun yun yung uh, nagsisilbing hawakan ng extractor natin para pagka bumara sa chamber doon hinihila or doon hinahawakan ng extractor ano doon kinakawit palabas so so ngayon naman at uh, tayo ay modern na so halos lahat ng bullet or ng mga gun natin is meron ng uh, kumbaga i ring doon sa ating uh, cartridge ano para magsisilbing itong hawakan ng extractor and mabilis na makakapag uh, pap, uh, paputok ang mga Armed Force of the Philippines or the PNP. Extractor marks. Markings created on the cartridge cases by the metal-to-metal -metal contact between the cartridge case and the extractor and ejector mechanism in the weapon. The extractor mechanism removes a cartridge from the chamber while the ejector throws the cartridge away once it is extracted. Nakikreate daw po ang extractor marks sa pamamagitan ng metal-to-metal -metal contact between the cartridge case and the extractor and ejector. The extractor may or may not leave an identifiable mark on the cartridge case. This is true if the cartridge is fired or simply hand-chambered and extracted without firing. Extractor may look like those seen in the comparison image below. Maaari daw pong mag-iwan o hindi mag-iwan ng marka ito sa cartridge case. Kapag po pinaputok o hindi pinaputok, makikita po ito sa larawan sa ibaba.